Hello guys, back in another beer review here. Chris with his head motion. It's a salute. It's a oh, Garth, the salute. It's a Garth Marenghi cross salute. Uh, salute. Um, okay, so another beer. Um, again, Chris does not know what this is. So, oh wait a second, can I guess? Because you gave me some information. Yeah, you, I did. What What do you think it's going to be? Do you want to recap the information? Yeah, I said it was a beer that that, that has been in the US but also brewed in the UK. That's pretty much all I gave to you. And you're pretty sure it was brewed in the UK prior to the US? Yes. You're reasonably confident. Very confident. And you said it was one I would be, it's the one I'm least likely to be excited by. Correct. Okay. What do you think it is? Try and guess within a brewery. What wouldn't I be excited by? Ramsbury? It's not Ramsbury. Ringwood? It is Ringwood. Oh, I didn't expect to get this. I'm really pleased with myself now. Well done. Which beer? I have no idea. Wow, that's... That I'm, is, no, I'm too ecstatic. That is, that is, I'm too ecstatic. That is impressive. Too that is really impressive. I don't think you get that. Well, I just thought it would be someone like fine but ultimately boring. The, like, the okay. Americans would go, let's let's get a British beer on license. It is Ringwood. Oh, I'm very pleased. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased with myself. Wow. I'm very surprised. I'm I'm I, it, I'm more surprised, I can tell you that. But which beer? I have no idea. Okay, right. Okay. It is Best. it's not. It's old Thumper. Oh, old Thumper. Old Thumper. I I am impressed you've managed to guess Ringwood. Uh I wouldn't put too much uh weight on it. I, I, I mean, it wasn't based on a lot of. It wasn't based on a lot of. But that was still impressive. Cross uh, that was impressive information. I just guessed breweries that I thought were fine, but ultimately uninspiring. That the Americans might go, "Oh, that's real British." Okay, fine, but ultimately uninspiring. Ringwood Old Thumper. Um, you can put that on the bottles if you want. Although right. Old Thumper I've had before, and not, and you know, I does don't. That, really, I don't remember it well does have a description on the back. Okay. We take two things seriously at Rigma Brewery. Our beer and our leisure time. Along with creating quality craft ales, we are relaxation enthusiasts. Our motto is to visit the winding downs, a place to visit some quality time with friends. Our famed Old Thumper craft ale. I hate the term craft Yeah, I'm, I'm angry twice we'll talk, already. We'll talk about that in a minute. Has a Moorish maltiness and a satisfying full flavour. Best, <laughs> best enjoy relaxing with friends and a cow pie. What I like about these tasting notes is that they it's entirely rely nonsense. on the environment. <sighs> what they've got is this is a beer. Get yourself in a nice situation so you don't have to worry about if the beer's very nice or not. Cow pie? Let's tackle that first. Yeah. Cow pie. Yeah, let's not swing, like, I mean, and that no shouldn't be anywhere in a cow tasting pie. Note. Beef pie, yes. Mm. Cow pie, no. Yeah, that sounds like a uh, that desperate Dan. That sounds, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I didn't even get that. I hear cow pie. I hear cow pat. Cow pat. Mm. Um, also, craft ale. The word craft. Now, lots of people who may watch these reviews may get cross me about this, but I don't like the, the term craft beer or craft ale because it means nothing. I agree. I mean, There's no definition whatsoever. I think people, and I, I know, I don't even really mind it as just a way to distinguish whether it's a keg dispense or cast dispense ale, because mm. at least that has a purpose, even if, yeah. even if it has implications beyond that uh, that are erroneous, because there's, there's a lot of crappy cask beer. There's a lot of crappy keg beer. Yeah. Uh, but... I know it's just thrown around now. It's a it's a waste of time. If Guinness if Guinness are making craft ale, well, Green King are and Green King, yeah, then craft ale no longer has a meaning. In my opinion, craft beer has as much uh, meaning as artisan bread yeah. and artisan cheese. Just makes you want to punch people. Is that what you're saying, James? Yeah, yeah. The fact is, there's probably a lot of craft beer out there that is not real ale. That's very good, but they. Oh, there absolutely like, is. I feel like the, the word craft has been kind of demeaned. But I tend to find the people who flaunt the term craft 
don't tend to be the ones making what I would consider good beer. No, absolutely. That, that, like, most, most of the people who make what uh, we define as craft beer, even in the sense of keg or cask, yeah, they don't say it. They just make nice beer. Would you like to read the tasting notes? I spin? will. Extra special ale, eh? I went a bit rogue, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. This rich amber copper coloured beer pours with a generous off-white head. The nose features a flurry of light hop notes while fruity flavours dance on the palate. Overall, Old Thumb has a very smooth mouthfeel with a pleasant hop note on the finish. You see, I don't know, that's the first one I've read that I don't think it's going to be true. Mm. So even the even the previous one, the Guinness, that we weren't too keen on, like, the, the tasting notes were true. It's the first one I felt like it's going to be. It's going to be. Okay, we get? So it's, 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 it's very, um, so it's got a nice amber look for it, I must say. Nice bit of head. It's not thin, but in terms of its carbonation, so that's good. Let's go for a smell. There's not a lot coming off it for me. I've got a bit. I'm smelling a bit. I've got, actually. A bit of, I've got a bit of the fruit, which is what I was expecting to be fruit. erroneous. There is some fruit. It's. I mean, it's interesting because normally when someone says fruity beer, it's not. It's not that type of fruity aroma. It. This is quite. <laughs> again, I would say reasonably tropical fruit. Mm. It's not. It's not your. Your berries and dates or whatever, and it's not. I don't know. It's not what I'd usually expect when someone says oh. fruity, especially in this colour of beer and the, and and a beer from this brewery. Um, I'm not getting much else of it, which makes it difficult to peg what it's going to be like in well, balance. Let's get, I think we should go for the taste. We should get stuck in it. Is. You see, it's got a lot more malt to it as soon as you get it in the mouth. Mm. Like a lot more. Huge amount of malt. Um, it's not... It's not unpleasant. It's not... It's not getting much interesting. And I think the nose suggests something different. It's got a very sweet aftertaste. Yes. It's got the initial taste is almost nothing. Yeah, it's like while it's moving, moving around there, it's generic, generic beer flavour. It's, it's you, you've got a you've got a heavy malt, and the carbonation stands out. There's not a lot of actual flavour on the front. And to let it sit, it doesn't really develop. Like the taste at the end is very much the taste at the beginning, except for a slight lingering sweetness. It's okay. In fact, I, I've not had this beer for years. No, it's, it's I was going to say it's I better probably... than I remember, actually. Well, I don't know. I mean, the last time I had this was a long time ago, like like a good a good number of years ago, and. The beer choice wasn't wasn't particularly up to much at that point, like not day to day. It was like, especially in the range that you could get in bottles in the supermarket. I remember this being there, and you know you didn't have a huge selection. You had your your Witchwoods. You had this. You might have had a few that they pulled locally, but like it wasn't great. And this was one of the better ones. And and it's not it's not unpleasant. Um, I don't think it's something I would choose now, but it, but it's, it's certainly not unpleasant, and I I I think it achieves what it's going for. You know, how, how strong is it? Five. It's five one. Five one. I mean, it's 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 easy going. Yeah. It's pretty drinkable. What's the other one from Ringwood you see quite a lot? Oh, Boon Dog. Boon Dog. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite nice. I mean, it's got the hot flavour there. 
I'm still getting some of the sort of fruit notes that I don't like very much. Like they're just not my it's just not my style of mm. style of beer. But I don't know. It's it's not unpleasant. And it's well balanced. Like it's it's got a decent body to it. From the bottle, I know. It feels a little over carbonated, but I find that with a lot of bottled beer anyway. Uh like I tend to let them sit for a long time just because there's something that has been sitting for a long time. No, I mean sit sitting Oh in in the bottle. In the in glass. The, in the glass. Just okay. because quite often a lot of bottled beer especially bottled beers, especially if they're not bottle conditioned, um, I find the I find the carbonation a bit much and a bit overpowering. Um, and this one's not insane, but but I'm definitely tasting it. It's a nice colour. This is better than I thought, actually. It is. I was it not, is better I than I expected. I was not expecting this beer to be quite as nice as it was. It's, Once I, I wouldn't say it's e- incredible, but it's no. much nicer than I thought it was. Once I got over the ecstasy of guessing Ringwood, uh, I was suddenly, you know, uh, there was a sense of foreboding came over me. And it's actually, it's it's quite nice. It's it's not my usual style, but I I, I would in no way turn my nose up at a pint of it. Wow. Strong praise there from Chris McClellan from the legs head. I turn my nose up very easily. It's quite a pointy up nose. Mm. Um, let's leave it there for this particular beer review from uh, Ringwood's Old Thumper. Uh, like, tell me if you like this beer in the comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Speak to you soon. Say goodbye, Chris. Au revoir.